Hey, hey, hey. This is Pastor Kent, and this is Recovery with Pastor Kent. I realize that I haven't been on in a while, and uh, I made a message on my YouTube page why I haven't been, so I won't get into it now, but it explains why I haven't been there. Deceit and in deceit amends. The ninth step tells us to make direct amends wherever possible. Our experience tells us to follow up with those direct amends with long lasting changes in our attitudes and our behavior. That is the indirect amends. For example, say you've been breaking someone's window because you are angry. Looking successful into their eyes, the person whose window you broke and would not be specific we directly amend the wrong while we've done by admitting it and replacing the window. We mend what we have damaged. Then we follow up with the direct amends with the indirect amends. If we attack act out on our anger, breaking someone's window. We examine the patterns of our behavior and our attitudes. After we are as well, we try to mend our ways. We modify our behavior and make a daily effort not to act out on our anger. We make direct amends and repairing the damage we do. We made indirect amends by repairing the attitudes that caused us to damage in the first place. Hearing in use, we don't cause further damage in the future. Just for today, I will wake, make direct amends wherever possible. I will also make indirect amends, mend my ways, changing my attitude and altering my behavior. You know, it's very important that we do this. Because saying you're sorry doesn't make a blessed iota wapadoobie day if you don't follow it up with an action. I'm sorry is okay. I apologize for what I did because I felt this way is actually a better way to do it. You know, like for an example, the window thing. I'm sorry, I was the one that broke your window, but I will pay to have it fixed. How much was it? You give them the money if you have it, if not, you'll tell them you'll pay them in payments. But we try to make those and mend those fences. Some of those fences can never be mended. And some of our amends will be wit wit met with disarray and anger and bitterness and lashing out. How dare you? You know, you have no right or, you know, what gives you the God-given right to do that? How dare you do that? You don't have a right to do that to me. Well, <clears throat> some people will take it. Some won't. 
some will follow through some won't some will say it's okay it's all right it was an accident others will say you're right you're gonna pay for that so it's important that we do these because it helps work on our character defects as well this is why it's proper and very important to do a proper step four because four takes us through five six to nine because if we don't know who it is by our fourth step we do in what we do now let's say the person has passed on um, you can write a letter take it to the gravesite and bury it with them or read it to them um, depending on what you believe they may or may not answer you um, there may be a realization or uh, a thank you or something or a blessing given to you it, it depends how you believe uh, I mean um, I was lucky when I made my amends that most people were very susceptible to what I had to say and they said it's okay I understand you know but you know it's very important that we do that because and build or, or at least try to build those bridges up some of those bridges can never be fixed um, that's something that we're going to have to live with some of our actions as addicts cause a great many people harm and many people don't want us around or want to be near us or around us or have anything to do with us so this is what we need to do is follow through on those actions and try to make those indirect and direct amends now the only other one that I bring to my sponsee's attention that if it's going to cause you harm or someone else harm you make an indirect amends is another reason to make an indirect amends um, you know you beat somebody up and you know who they are put money in their account you don't have to say where it comes from you know um, that can be an amends it's an indirect amends but it's a way of saying I'm sorry you know? I apologize for what I did to you it was wrong most people will be susceptible if you come with a glad heart and a loving compassionate way um, most people will be susceptible to that but those that aren't well <clears throat> on them because you don't need them anyway you know it's important we try though it helps our character may God bless and keep you